We can also make a full screen background with GL React image. And what we need here is to feed the surface for GL React image a width and a height value. So what I've done here is I've used the effect and uh, basically when the component is ready, when the window is present, uh, I've recorded these dimensions and then I can just feed that to my width and height, achieving a full screen background. Uh, okay, and there are a couple of uh, options we can have here. Resize mode cover, which obviously is similar to cover in CSS, it covers the whole screen. Uh, you can see my CSS background video if you'd like more info on that, or you can look at the docs here. So we've got these resize modes, cover, it's got stretch, um, which I think is, isn't available anywhere else. Oh, stretch basically just makes the, your image the same size as whatever the container is, so it doesn't preserve the aspect ratio. And also contain, which fits the image inside the container. Uh, also, you can center your image here, and you can zoom the image. Uh, you can also the really probably most important thing about this is you can use it with GL transitions, and I've done that on my CodeBro website. Uh, this in the background is a GL React um, surface and node, GL React image, and it transitions between each image as you scroll. So this is probably the biggest reason for using this, because if you're using regular images with GL transition, it gets a little complicated. And this is a really nice uh, tool uh, for this. So this example is in our GitHub YouTube lab. So I'll share the link at the bottom as always. And thank you for watching. See you next time.